What is the most insane twist in a criminal case in history? Murder or suicide? You might want to grab your popcorn for this one. At the 1994 annual awards dinner given for forensic science, office president Dr. Don Harper Mills astounded his audience with the legal complications of a bizarre death. Here's the story. A medical examiner viewed the body of Ronald Opus and concluded that he passed from a shotgun wound to the head. Mr. Opus had jumped from the top of a 10-story building intending to end himself. He left a note to the effect indicating his decision. As he fell past the ninth floor, his life was interrupted by a shotgun blast passing through a window, which killed him instantly. Neither the shooter nor the deceased was aware that a safety net had been installed just below 8th floor level to protect some building workers and that Ronald Opus would not have been able to complete his jump the way he had planned. Ordinarily, Dr. Mills continued, a person who sets out to unalive themselves and ultimately succeeds, even though the mechanism might not be what he intended, is still defined as unaliving themselves. Because Mr. Opus was shot on the way to certain death, but probably wouldn't have been successful because of the safety net, caused the medical examiner to feel that he had a homicide on this hands. The room on the ninth floor where the shotgun blast emanated was occupied by an elderly man and his wife. They were arguing vigorously, and he was threatening her with a shotgun. The man was so upset that when he pulled the trigger, he completely missed his wife, and the pellet went through the window, striking Mr. Opus. When confronted with the murder charge, the old man and his wife were both adamant that they thought the gun was unloaded. The old man said it was a long-standing habit to threaten his wife with it unloaded. He had no intention to murder her, therefore the killing of Mr. Opus would be an accident that is, if the gun had been accidentally loaded. The continuing investigation turned up a witness who saw the old couple's son loading the shotgun about six weeks prior to the fatal accident. It transpired the old lady had cut off her son's financial support, and the son, knowing his father's tendencies to use the gun, had loaded it with the expectation that his father would unalive his mother. Since the loader of the gun was aware of this, he was now guilty of the shot even though he didn't actually pull the trigger. The case now becomes one of murder on the part of the son for the death of Ronald Opus. Now comes the exquisite twist. Further investigation revealed that the son was, in fact, Ronald Opus. He had become increasingly despondent over the failed attempt to engineer his mother's murder. This led him to jump off the ten-story building. The son had murdered himself, so the medical examiner closed the case as a suicide. 